Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to add Fornaf reports to source control. To demonstrate how to add your Fornaf reports to source control, we will use a new, a new extension that I have prepared before this webinar. You can add any Fornav report or layout to any type of source control. In this coffee break, I will use plain Git without any remote repository. At Fornav, we use GitHub to host our repositories. Azure DevOps, GitLabs, or any, any, or any other type of repository will work just as well. To demonstrate how to add Fornav reports to source control, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add Git source control to my Fornav report extension. In step three, I will make a change to a report in my extension, view the change and commit it. In the fourth and final step, I will add my custom layout to my source control. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will use a Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 1 release. I have installed the Fornav extension and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available in Business Central Cloud. I have I also have the Fornav designer in, on my I also have the Fornav designer installed on my PC. The Fornav designer can be downloaded from the Fornav website. I also have installed F Visual Studio Code and Git. A question we often get when we speak to developers is how they can add Fornav reports to their source control. That makes sense. Source control is important when we develop software. To demonstrate how Fornav reports work with source control, I've prepared an extension with the Fornav report and I will initialize Git for that. So let's go and play with VS Code today. What I have created here is a simple extension. Uh, this extension has a, sim uh, has a single report, my new customer list.report.al, with its uh, RDLC file that in, uh, in extensions is a separate file. So that is there. And I have also added a git ignore file. And the git ignore simply has the stuff for the, v for the BC extension. So ignore it ignores the stuff in the VS Code folder, in the AL packages folders, and it ignores any app, app files that, uh, that I might create. So to add source control to my extension, I am going to use the terminal. You can use any, uh, any Git client. I just like to use VS Code and the terminal. And I'm going to simply say Git init, which will initialize my, uh, my Git source control. And you will notice right here that uh, my uh, folders become green. That means they have been added to source control. And in order to, uh, to, commit to the, commit them to the source control, I'm going to say git add. And then I'm going to say git commit. And there we go, everything uh, becomes uh, white again. So my changes have now been committed to, uh, to git. So I don't need to do anything uh, in order to add for nav reports to, uh, to Git source control or any other type of source control. All I need to do is just initialize my repository like you would do with uh, any other extension you might make. Now we have added source control to our extension. We can change the report and see what happens. So, in VS Code, we have the report, and if we were to change anything in the report, so if I say change my uh, my customer list, you will notice I get all sorts of all sorts of changes, and my report changes here as well in uh, in Git source control. So I have report changes. But what happens if I if I open and edit this report in the Fornav Designer? Let's undo my changes. Let's go to the Fornav Designer and open my report. And I can open the report from the file and open the report that's in my source control. 
and I will get my report in the, in the form after China. Now there's two types of changes I can make. I can make changes stri strictly to the layout. So what I can do is I can make this red and save my changes. And you will notice I get changes to my uh, Pornaf customer list RDLC file. So let's have a look and see what has changed. So in my, uh, in my source control part of VS Code, I can simply select my RDLC file. And you will notice right here that the uh, base64 string that contains the Fornav layout has changed. Unfortunately, at this moment, we can't see which changes we've made. All we can see is that, our, that there have been changes to the, uh, to the Fornav layout because uh, this big string has been changed. Of course, I can, I can also make changes to the data set, which will trigger a change in the Fornav layout, in the Fornav uh, report AL file. So let's simply change a uh, change the data set. Uh, let's add a calculated field. So let's add the balance to the calculated fields and hit save and go back to VS Code. You will notice my AL file has now been changed. And if I open it, you will simply notice that my, uh, uh, my calculated fields have been changed. The uh, balance has been added to it. Once I've finished changing my report, I can close it in the Fornav Designer and go back to, uh, to Git. When I'm happy with the changes, I can commit them to my source control. So I can simply say git add. And once again, you can use a git GUI or any other type of, uh, of git uh, tool. I just like the command line. So I have changed the report. My changes have committed, so I don't have any pending changes right here. You will, no, you will notice right here that I have uh, I have no more pen, pending changes, and my extension is ready to publish. Whenever I work with Fornav, I try to customize the standard Fornav reports as often as I can without creating a new extension. Uh, that's we do that because. Uh, any type of extension we create needs to be maintained and that's going to be a drain on your client's resources. So whenever possible, I just create a new uh, new report layout and let Fornaf do the maintenance on the extension for me. So, but I do want to add these custom layouts to my source control. How would I do that? Well, in order to create a new custom layout, I am simply going to close my GoToWebinar screen and go to Business Central. And this is something we've done fairly often in the last uh, couple of months with the coffee breaks. I'm going to simply run my report and design it. Uh, let's make this uh, green and save my changes. And saving a change from the Fornav designer to a report in the Fornav, uh, in the Fornav extension will create a new custom report layout. So I can simply go to my custom report layouts. And in the custom report layouts, you will notice I have a new layout for my vendor list. In order to add this layout to my source control, I need to export it. So I go to layout and say export layout, which saves an RDL file. And I can save this, which will save it in my downloads folder. So I grab my default RDL file and I can copy it in my source control folder, create a new folder and call it custom layout and save my default RDL file. Now let's go back to VS Code. You will notice that in my uh, in my folder list, I have a new folder called custom layouts. And in this folder, I have the default RDL file. Now default RDL doesn't say an awful lot. So I will just change this to vendor list. But RDL. And you will notice this RDL file simply has the, uh, the four nav layout in it as well. 
and I can now add it to my source control. In my source control window, you will notice that I have pending changes. I have the vendor list.rdl, and I can simply say git add and git commit. Add a defender list layout, and that saves my changes. Now, if I want to make any changes to this RDL file, I can either change it in Business Central and export the changes and import them in my in my source control again. But I can also simply open for an app designer. Let's say open the report from the file, go to my custom layouts, and open the vendor list.rdl. And this will open the designer for me. And I can change my uh, my layout and save it. And when we go back to Git, you will notice that the vendor list has been changed again. And in the pending changes, if I open it, you will notice that the base64 string has been changed again. Let's recap what we just did. We have created a new, a new extension and we have added it to our source control. Then we changed the 4NAV report in our new extension and committed the changes to the source control. Finally, we exported our custom layouts and added those to the source control as well. Let's see if we have any questions today. There's no questions yet, so let's continue with closing this webinar. If you have any questions at this, at this point, please uh, type them in the GoToWebinar question box. So if you want to know more, of course, you can visit the 4NAV website, 4NAV.com. And if you want to download the 4NAV uh, designer and have a play with 4NAV, uh, you can simply download it from 4NAV.com. You can also install the 4NAV extension from Microsoft App Source if you use Business Central Cloud. And if you want to see more of these Coffee Break videos or any other video that we have, uh, you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 4NAV reports. And if you have any questions after this Coffee Break, then please go please email them to support at 4nav.com next week we will do another 4nav coffee break and to, for a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks please visit 4nav.com coffee break and if you if you have any topics for future 4nav coffee breaks uh, let us know uh, email them to info info at 4nav.com and if we uh, decide to pick your coffee break topic and record a coffee break on it you will get two prizes. The first one, of course, is that you have a topic, coffee break about your topic. And the second is that uh, we will send you a 50 euro or dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, we have no questions at the moment. So thank you for listening to me today. And I will speak to you in, an, in another for now coffee break. Thank you and goodbye.